Hello there. How are you? Happy 2020. Uh, I just want to say God bless you. And this is an exciting year to be alive. And I'm excited at all that God is doing. So today I just want to share with you. Uh, I've heard all kinds of wonderful good words from godly people. Uh, prophetic words, if you will, about 2020 and how, and everything is good. The, the exciting words were very uplifting, and I certainly wasn't expecting to receive anything myself. Not that I don't expect to hear from God, it's just not like this anyway. What I'm going to share with you is uh, January, uh, the end of January, on the morning, early in the morning of the 25th, I was sleeping. And in my sleep, I heard V-I-A-P-O, God's creation. V-I-A-P-O, God's creation. V-I-A-P-O, God's creation. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I didn't have a clue. I mean, I certainly know what God's creation is. But uh, I wrote that down. And then a couple days later, when I had time to be alone and sit with the Lord, this is what He gave me. Victorious! I am presenting oneness. Victorious, I am presenting oneness. God's creation. And then the Lord led me to John chapter 17. And probably most of you are familiar with John 17. It's a most precious chapter in the Word of God. And it's about Jesus himself coming to the Father and praying for us. And uh, I want to read some of that scripture to you from that chapter. Lord, please help me. Okay. So Jesus said, I'm not praying only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. That takes us down all the way through history and all the way up to the present time, because here we are, still living on this earth, and still hearing the good news about Jesus. And he said, I'm praying not only for these disciples, Jesus said in John 17. Father, I'm not only praying for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through that message. <clears throat> I pray that they will all be one. Just as you and I are one. As you are in me, Father, and I am in you. Praise God. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. Jesus, the Son of the living God, he came for us as we know. He came to share the revelation of our glorious Father, Abba, and His love for us, in that He sent Jesus to die on a cross to take away our sin and to make us into His new creation because of the fall of the first man, Adam. Jesus came to turn it around. And so because of all that, hallelujah, here we are, 
blessed beyond measure because of our God who loves us so and sent his son Jesus. And Jesus prayed for us, prayed for me and prayed for you that day <laughs> in his words. His words are the Creator's words because Jesus is the great I Am. If you remember looking back in history before Jesus, all the way back to Moses on that mountain, when Moses saw that light, that fire burning up on the mountain, and he went up to check it out. What is that light on the mountain? looks like a bush that's burning and doesn't stop. And as he checked out that in the book of Exodus, in the Old Testament, chapter 3 and verse 14, after speaking to God himself on that mountain, Moses asked God, and who shall I say sent me? Because God was sending him back to Egypt so that the Israelites might be free and he said who shall I say is sending me he asked God and God replied tell them I am sending you I am and then we also see that so we see that in Exodus chapter 3 verse 14 I am was sending him. And we know in the book of the Gospel of John, Jesus is the Creator. He is the Word of God who was with God in the beginning. And we know that Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father except through me. And then also there was Elijah who had a mountain mountaintop experience with Abba, God. And Elijah also, in uh, 1 Kings chapter 19 and 11, Elijah was sent by God. The Lord said to Elijah, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord. For the Lord is about to pass by. So here we have Moses and Elijah and their experience on the mountaintop with Father God. <clears throat> and then fast forward to Jesus in Matthew chapter 21 and verse 22. Oh. I'm sorry, not Matthew, that was another verse, but you can check Matthew 21 and 20, chapter 21 and 22 out. But in Matthew 17, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 through 8, is when Jesus himself was with three of his disciples. Um, Peter, James, and John went with them up into the mountain with Jesus, and there they saw the Lord Jesus transfigured before them and glorified as bright as light. And then with him was two people, two people who are not supposed to be on the earth anymore, but for that, those few moments they were. And it was Moses and Elijah with Jesus up on the mountain. And they are all just as bright and beautiful because they were in their glorious glory bodies, their glorified bodies. So it's, it was so exciting to see this. And then we know that Jesus is the great I Am. And he showed and revealed that at that point to three, those three disciples that he is the one God sent, the glorious son of the living God. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Now back to, the, back to that garden, back to that time in John chapter 17, where Jesus was praying for us. 
It's so, it's so exciting when you think about the Lord himself prayed for us. Praise God. Uh, so Jesus said, in John 14, Jesus said, that he was the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and in that, and in John 17, where he prays for us, the exciting key there is that we realize that he prayed that we might be one with him and the Father. So that V-I-A-P-O, victorious I am, presenting oneness. Because we have been made one <laughs> with God the Father and Jesus the Son and his Holy Spirit, whom he said he was sending and he did send to us. And he is available on this earth right now to each and every one who will receive and believe in Jesus. Praise God. We are victorious in the I am who is presenting oneness through us. Praise God. That's awesome. Our God is awesome. He is exciting. And I believe this is a year, more than ever before, where we will be seeing that displayed across our nation and around the world. And we already have been seeing it, and we'll see it more and more. Because God is working today, just as he has worked all the way through the ages from the beginning. And his plans are good. His plans are good. You know, the enemy just comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, fear not, for I am with you. And if we, as we look into his word, he is working all things together for good to those who believe in him. Praise God. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. God is so good. V-I-A-P-O. God's creation. God's creation. V-I-A-P-O. God's creation. So I'm going to show you this one more time. Victorious I am, presenting oneness. God's creation. Jesus is the great I am. He was with the Father in the beginning. And he loves us so, and he loves you. And he's just waiting for you to believe, to call upon him, because he has provided everything we need. He has given us everything we need in his word. And when he shed his blood on that cross and completed that sacrifice, and then three days later rose up victorious from death and the grave. Hallelujah. He has given us everything we need to walk through this life victorious in him. Praise God. So, V-I-A-P-O, victorious I am, presenting oneness, God's creation, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Amen. Amen. And so, you know, God is good. He gives a song. He gives us songs, and he's given me this song to go along with this. The song of the words of John chapter 17. We are one. We are one. We are one. In him. Thank you, Jesus.
we pray.